March 16th, 2019. We are up and at them. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Good morning, Marley. Good morning. What are we doing? We're going fishing. We're going casting. Our American success is not very good for fishing, but we are going to a new spot. Marley, tell us the spot we're going to. Uh, it's near Pigeon Forge. It's a river. It's a, like a ditch, I think. The, uh, everybody, so on our way down, everybody told us how good this lake we're staying at was gonna be. And <laughs> it turns out that all the locals say that this is probably the worst lake to possibly shore fish on the planet. So we're trying a new spot. How far is it away? Uh, I think it's like 40 minutes. It's not too bad. It's towards Knoxville though, so. Towards Knoxville, where the classic is. So we're going, we're up early. We're gonna do some Dunkin' Donuts coffee and then we're gonna get on the road. We're gonna do some fishing and then we're headed back to the classic. We're gonna watch weigh in for day two and we're gonna try to get this camera in for you can see some of the highlights. LaFleur! Yeah. You ready to go fishing, homie? You got it. Hey, get give me one some today. love. We're, hopefully, out of all of us, we can get one. Better be me. We have made it to Christmasville. What town is this, guys? Christmasville. Pigeon Forge. Pigeon, Pigeon Forge is like Niagara Falls on, dro on drugs, on steroids. This is huge. Mar, what do we see? A gorilla? It's like gorilla. Titan uh, Titanic. An upside down. An upside down, down castle. Castle, castle. castle. Castles. Is absolutely insane. It was, it's craziness. Yeah. We watched a YouTube video and they caught some bass here, so we're gonna give it a go, but it's more like a trail creek back home, so I'm not exactly sure how to fish it. I'm gonna throw the spinner bait to get her started. Am, are you ready? Yeah, I am. I'm going to get some warmer clothes on because it's a little chilly, and I'm gonna go hopefully catch a bass. We got so much to do. It took so, it was like an hour and a half drive to get here, so we're a little behind schedule, so let's catch some fish, and then we got classic day. Waking up, feeling the taste of our food. All right, so bust at the first spot. We got told to come fish here and that there was bass, and then we called a bait shop and they said, no, no, the fish are not in the rivers this time of year. You might catch a minnow. So we got good bad information. Now, the next stop, we're gonna go check out the Douglas Dam. And I've actually heard of Douglas Lake and I know there's bass there. Doesn't mean we're gonna catch any. It's 10.45 in the morning. Took us forever to drive here. Douglas Dam's 25 minutes away. And might as well give it a shot. Nothing to lose, got a fishing license. Might as well cast. Guys, hook ain't fish? We did. Did you? Yeah, I got a trout. You got a trout? <laughs> Huh, <laughs> didn't see that coming. <laughs> anyway, we are on the road to check out the Douglas Dam. All right, we are in the middle of nowhere on Douglas Lake. The dam was not a go, but I did meet some new friends here. Say giddy up. How's it going, my friend? Thanks for uh, being on the vlog. Really appreciate it. What's your name? Is that your friend? Anyway, you, would it be all right if I went down there and caught some fish? Hey, hey, can I do that? Okay, I'm good if it's good. Okay, so we found a little cut. So we're gonna go down there, try to catch a bass. And if somebody gets a hit, it's gonna be a miracle. <laughs> on fishing trip number three of the trip to Tennessee. The fish must not be up on the bank. That was really, really pretty down there. Looked, looked like an absolute gem of a spot. No hits, guys. Mars bar, no hits. Nothing. Man, tough go. Amber, did you have fun? I did, so much fun. No fish though. No, Lisa and I picked some rocks. Yeah, you guys had a good time. It was really pretty down there anyway. Anyway, 
no luck this morning, but thankfully we're still at the Bassmaster Classic. Somebody, hopefully somebody in that tournament caught one. But it was really good to cast a reel, and I really wish I had my boat here a lot. It's gonna be really rough to go back to Ontario to the frozen lakes. All right, we fished our hearts out, we casted, no fish. Then what do we do, Marley? Let them fill their faces full of seafood. All you can eat, what is it called? Amber, Jim's, Lisa, Jim's, seafood. Buffet. Buffet. We craw legs. No, we didn't. Craw daddies. Crab legs. Crab legs. Mahi mahi. Catfish. Salmon Wellington. Salmon Wellington. Oh my God, I am absolutely so full. And we're on our way to weigh-in. But we're, we've fished and ate so long that we're going to be late for weigh-in. So, are you ready, guys? Let's we're go. Ready. We're going through the hilly country. What's up, dude? What's up? You all right? I'm full. I'm full, too. I'm really full. I don't want to drive. I want to nap. We are not making it to the expo today. Like I said in yesterday's vlog, plans change second by second. We are here at Thompson Bowl Arena for day two of Bassmaster Classic weigh-in. Hopefully, we have no idea. We haven't watched Bass Live all day at all. So we have no idea what is going on, but hopefully some of my favorite anglers are gonna make the cut for we can watch them on day three. Look at the size of this arena. Nothing like that in Canada. How fired up are you? Um, I'm in a food coma actually. Yeah, me too. We did eat a ton of seafood. Let's go watch them weigh in. Hopefully they let us take this camera in. We made it in good time. The party is just about to start. They got the upper bowl open today. This is first responders day. Canadian and Dave Mercer talking up there. Got seats. Look who surprised us. Mr. McCall made the trip after he told us he wasn't coming. He just got home from Mexico. Yep. Not a boy. I left Mexico yesterday at uh, four o'clock. I've been in four different time zones already today. Wow. <laughs> wow. You made it. Yeah. Look what's happening. No, 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 no. I got a fancy towel, and you've been away, and you know when we spin the towels, you gotta get loud. Say it. Let's try it one more time. And, oh, and you Sean saved the seats. Eleven to take the lead. Five fish. Twenty-one pounds. Beach, California angler coming in. You know him, Brett Baylor. Looking like Brandon's going to make the cut. Sean, what do you think the cut number is going to be? I think, I think it's going to be 18, 19 pounds. 18, 19 pounds. 18, 19 pounds. He's going to be right in it. He's looking at 2009. You started at the same classic together. He might just make the cut. Next fellow's career has been pretty much strong as new whale rope. Ladies and gentlemen, out of Pittsgrove, New Jersey, Michael Iconelli. in that live ball. I know you'd love to see Iconelli on Championship Sunday. And you may just do Big fish, big 
big fish and no whammies for Iconelli. Five fish here today. At 9-2 yesterday, five fish on day number two at the Geico Bassmaster Classic. 19 pounds, seven ounces! 19-7! And Iconelli moves into the top five with 28 pounds, nine ounces! Just got out of the Classic. Everybody's leaving. What's up? We got Sean. We got Sean. I can't believe Sean came. I like Sean. You were in shock. For I was like in shock. An like I, I was watching the way, and I looked over, and there's Sean McCall, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, Sean McCall's here!" <laughs> we didn't know Sean was coming at all. We Moose told Sean. us there was a secret, and it was Sean McCall. Sean McCall was like our numbers guy. We're gonna go pick him up at the hotel. We're gonna stay at the house with us tonight, and we'll have him throw down what's gonna happen tomorrow with the top five, cause it's exciting. Day number two of the Bassmaster Classic is over. Nobody managed to weigh in two big bags, so the field is actually still very tight. It's anybody's game. Mark, you have a good day? I did, I'm exhausted. I am tired too. Fishing was not so hot in Tennessee, but hey, slow fishing from shore at Classic's oh, our deal. Terrible, isn't it? That's our deal. You know, this is kind of how people probably, when they get into fishing, they go to a lake, they have no idea. It's That's tough. kind of like what we're dealing with here, right? Yeah, we, it's not like we uh, we don't know any of these lakes. We really don't know where to go. We have found out that there's not a lot of places to go for information on where to go. No. So it, it's really tough, but it was really nice to cast some rods and reels in open water. Oh yeah. Sean McCall, you're here. Call me. Made it. What's up? Hey, the field's tight. It's really close. It's really, really close. It is yeah. really anybody's ball game with everybody the top five weighing in one good day and one rough day, yeah. it means on day three that if they don't do so well that there's a chance somebody way in the back of the field can catch them. That's right. It's anybody's ball game. That's right. Really glad BP made it. BP did make it, yeah. 24th place, just by the skin of his chinny chin chin. Spider made it from Team Daiwa too. So good luck to those boys. We are gonna crush some dinner. I'm gonna edit this up. LaFleur. Yeah. Good day on the ice? Good day on the ice. <laughs> we are out of here. Tomorrow is day three. There will be expo. There will be final day weigh-in. I wish I'd have brought my bigger camera with more zoom. But, we'll see you soon.